Hey guys, we got another multiplayer round, something special come. Oh, gotta go. Going at 16. Getting with Westy and Aaron. Unusual for me, you see me with the elite bag there. We're trying something with default aim, default disc. Oh, okay. Stuart's in there, so I'm gonna bail out of that. Oh, didn't even get Aaron in there. Let's go into a normal round. Alright, we'll get that round up for you guys some point. Uh, should be really interesting, a lot of fun uh, to try out. I don't usually do uh, those kind of things in multiplayer, uh, but it'll be fun to try something a little bit different. Uh, anyway, here on Lost Island 9, I'm taking that light glide paradigm with the forehand off the tee. I feel like it takes a lot of the danger out of this throw. I'm going to go accurate roll musket to get up here to the green. Just make sure I don't hit those teeth. Give me a chance to slide them down. Go and tap in the birdie there. Take a chance to move on. Where is Westy? Looks like Westy might have gotten a bad kick. I think he's close enough to get in there. I think he should be. Maybe that tooth in the way a bit there. No, he's got that coming in. Great. Eddie on takes his three. All squared up after hole one. Looking to do some more fun, or a few more fun rounds. Uh, honestly, multiplayer is burning me out a little bit. Uh, just so much of the grind. I, I know I say stay bogey free, and there's a lot of fun that way to win and progress. I think I need to take some time here and try a little bit more silly stuff sometimes. <laughs> silly stuff, crazy stuff, try to make some of those hero shots. Uh, you see I, a couple of my rounds recently. I was up there. So those are really fun rounds. It's a trade-off for me between fun in the individual round and fun overall. I know this one I showed you, my forehand uh, accurate glide sapphire. I've been messing around trying to figure out this backhand accurate roll sapphire. I think this is looking good, but honestly, I'm just not so sure yet because uh, I'm not that familiar with this line. Get down. Okay. Gets down to get safe. If this stops... It's usually a lot closer. Wait, what just happened to Eddie? Did he go over? Please be a bad fall fly. That's awful. Okay, it was fake. Good. My 80 foot throw in. Uh, birdie frame there. Star frame there, because that's what that's called. I thought Eddie had a terrible kick over the backside of that spine. That would have really sucked. Uh, let's see what we have for this next one. I don't even remember looking at the layout. There, Highlander's Ridge, Glide Skip Paradigm. Get it enough to just sneak by this wall. Just sneak by that wall is perfect. Yes. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to think about it. Do I go for it? 118, so it's 120. I gotta throw this about 140 up there. Ooh! Yeah! See, that's the excitement. Like, normal round, I don't have any of that excitement coming because I'm not even thinking about going for that. But I think that's kind of coming the next step in my gameplay. I got all the safe plays down. Now it's a matter of risk management. Something I see when I play against, like, Mark, for example, in multiplayer. He has safe, smart play, but his skill with throw-ins and executing difficult throws is so high that his safe play gets a lot more bonus strokes and saves a lot more strokes than my typical safe play would. So I think that's next step is working on this early season stuff, doing some of these kind of riskier throw-ins, if you will, so I can learn those lines and be more skilled to be able to pull those out and have lower risk to them. This one, for example, let's see, it's been a while since so I've missed the bridge. Let's see if I can get on it again. Uh oh uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, there goes that lead. Bummer. Wesley got on there. But I have that stroke to work with. So I should just uh, tie this back up after that. I was saying it's been a while since I missed the bridge. I should have known that that was a telltale sign that I was absolutely about to miss that bridge. Wesley going to take it? Oh, oh no. Where are we at there? Water. I wonder if that's a safe water. We'll see what happens uh, when his score comes in. Oh, no. Okay, tap in four, five, four. Good. Safe water for the four. So that was, yeah, it's a silly play for to go for the bridge. But honestly, I'm having more fun with it. Uh, safe play would have gone 
out to the right and gotten in there just fine. Let's go with the paradigm here to fight against this wind a little bit. And not a dead skip. Yeah, there's been a lot of dead skips lately. This one is going to be really dumb to run it, so I'm going to do it. Yes! <laughs> oh, guys, I'm having a blast doing this stuff. Uh, Eddie got it as well. Stuart and Wesley taking their three. See the 2 4 2, it works out. <laughs> Came off from me at the end. Oh, that's exciting. Let's see what we got coming to the last holes here. Okay, I need to figure out a river line over the top here. If you have a river line, let me know. I think it's just kind of something like that. Looks like it might be close. I definitely have some work to do on figuring that one out. I know there was the musket line that I was taking before, in the high outside the right side of the arch with the musket, but with a tailwind, that's just, that's even beyond risky for I just, I have no idea what I'm doing there. So I don't know why I'd ever give that a shot. All right, three, I definitely screwed up around the other day. I think get Stever on this one, just not having the hyzer right. But I think I got it here to get around. Oh, and going, and going. Oh, oh, stay safe. Okay. <laughs> was able to get around uh, and stay safe. Thought I was going to have that ace there. That would have been extra thrill coming to this round. But it's not. We're still tied in first with Eddie. Let's see. What is hole nine? This point to kind of hunker down, take the win. No more room, room to come back if I mess this up. But what do we have? Four with this wind. All right. Let me go for it. Take the glide roll rive. Get it up over the top. I just want to get over at least. If I get over, wait, what's that wind? Does it push me? It's push me to the right. If I get over and safe on the other side, I think this should do it. Yes, over and safe on the other side is at least birdie. So as long as I'm not behind that tree, we have eagle. Wonderful. Oh, Eddie went long, so we are able to take that eagle and take the solo win. Yeah, so I, I know I talk a lot about stay bogey free, just shoot the safe, uh, smart golf, boring golf, if you will. But here what happened to work out for me. You got a way if boring golf's getting, well, I guess too boring, then don't play boring anymore. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed something a little bit different here. Uh, stay bogey free. Also have some fun.